بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today we'll be solving mathematics code 9709 mechanics paper 41 May June 2020 so yeah let's start question 1 3 coplanar forces of magnitude 100 newton 50 newton uh, and 50 newton act upon point act at point A as shown in the diagram, the value of cosine alpha is 4 over 5. Find the magnitude of the resultant force of the three forces and, this, and say that its direction. Okay. We will the axis that we will do resolving the forces. So we will find 50 sine alpha. We will find 50 sine alpha. The vertical component of the vertical component of the force D. When we have horizontal component of the force in the fore, we have horizontal component of the force in the top. So we have 15 newton cosine alpha plus 50 cosine alpha. Okay, the horizontal of the D. On the left side, we have just the 100 newton force. So, um, Solving, uh, let's first solve vertically, okay? Solving vertically. نعمل اللي فوق minus اللي تحت هتطلع معنا zero. تمام؟ فتطلع معك إن the force is zero. ده معنى إن إيه ما فيش A force in the vertical plane. يعني لو كنا نعمل solving horizontally. Um, let's take at first the direction towards the right as positive. We have 50 newton cosine alpha plus 50 newton cosine alpha. We have 100 cosine alpha. Well, cosine alpha medina in here 4 over 5. We multiply 4 over 5 minus 100. Okay. We have a negative 20 newton. And we have the right side positive. Right positive or left negative, for right oh, or negative or left. So the value of the other negative. That means in the force is twenty newton toward the left. So we have resultant twenty newton towards the left. بكتور هنا the direction is towards the left أو نكتب towards the left وخلاص. بكرة نكون خلصنا question one. Okay question two. A car of mass one thousand eight hundred kilogram is towing a trailer of mass four hundred kilogram along a straight horizontal road. Right. Let's start drawing get get on the tool. Deal car. One thousand eight hundred kilogram. When the air. The Trailer 400 kilogram. طيب. The car and the trailer are connected by a light rigid tow bar. And the car is accelerating at uh, 1.5 meters second square. So let's say in the motion, masalan, toward the right. You can do toward the left, it's fine. I chose the right. Um, there's a constant resistance forces of 250 Newton on the car and 100 on the trailer. L car. 250. Okay, the trailer 100 Newton. Find tension to board type. A tension on the car, kida ha? So I'm let's see the car with tension on the trailer, ah, and they are the same magnitude, ma'am. Oh, since the car is accelerating, the man if he driving force on the car, if he and the kena driving force. Now, then I'm resolve. Ah, we're gonna the forces on the car, ma'am. It's landing a. Uh, بنكتب دائما أول حاجة على left hand side the MA دي اللي هي الفورس resultant من كل الفورسز اللي موجودة بتكون هناخد ال right side هو ال positive ماشي عشان هو direction of motion ف on the positive we have the A driving force negative بقى في A on the opposite direction tension it's opposing the direction of motion في بقى negative T minus resistance اللي هي A 250 on the on trailer 
نفس الحاجة ام اي تساوي ال forces on the right اللي مفيش حاجة في front right or the tension وال left 100 نيوتن بتوع resistance تمام فا احنا مش هنعرف نجيب التنشن من دي عشان احنا ما عندناش driving force we have to use this equation وهنا عندنا كل ال كل الحاجة فنعرف نجيب التنشن عادي فالmass 400 acceleration 1.5 equal t minus 100 index 600 equal t minus 100 يعني التنشن بتساوي 700 نيوتن Now part B says find the power of the engine of the car at instant when the speed is 20 meter per second And then the power is how driving force multiply velocity Okay, and then give the driving force from this equation And then the velocity we have to give the power of the engine Okay, type The mass of the car 1800 kilogram with acceleration 1.5 1800 Apply 1.5 Equal the driving force minus tension, or 700 newton, uh, minus resistive force. Call it the equation there, okay? 250. 250. And then driving force, we uh, say 1800 multiply 1.5, that's 2700. Maybe 2700 plus 700. You get a 3400 plus 250. 3650 newton okay the driving force and then the speed and give the power it will power you say 3650 multiply 20 equal 73000 what or you can say 73 kilowatt okay question two Question three: A particle P is projected vertically upwards with speed 5 meter per second from point A, which is 2.8 meter above the horizontal ground. Find the greatest height above the ground reached by P. Okay, the whole ground. Yes, you. And then the particle initially contained. Okay. So we have in the height da 2.8 meter. Okay. This is the height. We will project upward. We can the initial speed be tana. U equal five meters second negative one. And we use the we need the distance. We use S equal U T plus half. Oh, we don't actually have the time, so we cannot use this equation. Um, we'll use V square equal U square plus two A S. تمام فاحنا عندنا الفاينل بوست هتكون زيرو لما نوصل للماكسيموم هايت تمام يعني هنتم كده مثلا اوكي لما نوصل للماكسيموم هايت هيكون هيكون البلس بتاعتنا زيرو اوكي وعندنا الانيشال فيلوسيتي وعندنا الاكسلريشن هنعرف نجيب الديستنس فزيرو ايكوال يو هو 5 سكوير بلس 2 مالتيبلاي اي اللي هي الجرافيتيشن اكسلريشن احنا واخدين الابورد اي بوزيتيف ماشي Well, acceleration is acting downward. The gravity is acting downward. So we take a negative time. Multiply s. It will mean zero equal twenty-five minus twenty s. It will mean in twenty s equal twenty-five. So s will be twenty-five over twenty, which is twenty-five over twenty is one point two five meters. ماشي احنا بدأنا already at 2.8 meters above the ground فالماكسيموم هايت اللي هو البوينت دي هتكون 2.8 بلس الهايت اللي احنا عملنا له ترافل اللي هو 1.25 فيبقى عندك الماكس هايت equal 2.8 بلس 1.25 which is 4.05 Meters. Okay, part B. Find the length of time for which P is at height of more than 3.6 of the ground type. Uh, we know, and yani we started already. Maybe we can already the aslan initially at a height from the ground lower than 2.28. Okay, 
basically 2.8 meters. Um, we want uh, we reached the old height 3.6 on at some point at this height low 3.6. The hassle in the particle or sphere or whatever moved up and went down again. Okay, so it reached that height twice here or here. We all mara and all time one. Okay, when some it any time two. The height of the game, I should not la the height of the game, I should not solve 3.6 meters above the ground. I had not learned initially 3.6 minus. 2.8 طلعنا distance دي اللي هي 0.8 meters okay ف how to find t1 and t2 عشان احنا عايزين يعني length of time p كانت at height more than 3.6 عايزين length of time اللي كنا فيه هنا اهو okay فعشان نجيب t uh, t1 and t2 we have the initial speed اللي هي u وعندنا distance اللي طلعناها فنستخدم s Ut plus half a t square. Is she? The distance 0.8. Il u can it 5 t plus half. Multiply the acceleration negative 10. I should x downward. I'm going to upward positive. Is she? T square. That's the minus 0.8 equal 5 t minus 5 t square. Move this and this to this side. That's the minus 5 t square minus. 5t plus 0.8 equals 0. Okay. Uh, we will just complete square here. Okay. That's la mana t minus 0.2. T minus 0.8 equal 0. And t1 is 0.2. With t2, LA 0.8. For the mana in the time period equal. 0 0.8 seconds minus 0 0.2 and start by the handwriting for 0 0.6 seconds. Okay, that we finished question three. Question four, the diagram shows the ring of mass 0 0.1 kilogram threaded on a fixed horizontal road. The road is rough and the coefficient of friction between the ring and the road is 0 0.8. Um, a force of magnitude T acts on the ring in direction 30 degrees to the road downwards in the vertical plane containing the road. Initially, the ring is at rest. Find the greatest value of t for which the ring remains at rest. So, um, friction can act upon toward left or right. Over in the force acting toward right, the tension, mafish a force toward the left. All the forces are toward the right, يعني right and downward. تمام. So, the friction at kun acting كده هو. Okay. And also the max friction. تمام هي الفريكشن بيفور ايه اللي هي بوينت ات سليبينج تورد رايت اوكي ف ليتس ليتس ريزولف فور ذا فورسز نرسم ال اكسس تاع الفورسز انا برسمو كل مره ده عندنا هنا تي كوساين 30 عندنا هنا تي ساين 30 الفريكشن بتكون هنا اهو ماشي وفوق طبعا طبعا في النورمال ليه في نورمال عشان يعني النورمال ات وات كيبس ذس ان اتس بوزيشن يعني هتلاقي ات كيبس ات ذس هايت اوكي يعني لو ما فيش نورمال هتلاقي ان ايه الرينج نازل كده الرينج رايح اكشلي كده لكن النورمال از وات كيبس ات ذا هايت ليفل مش هتطلع فوق او تحت ذس مينز ان الار هاز تو بي ايكوال تو ذا تي سين 30 تمام اوكي احنا عندنا الكوفيشنت اوف فريكشن احنا عارفين الكوفيشنت اوف فريكشن بيساوي فريكشن على ار By using this, we can find um, we we can make two equations. Okay, so let's make the first the equation by solving vertically. Okay, if I'm then vertically, t sine theta, uh, sorry sine thirty equal uh, r. Tamam. Oh wait, I just realized and we forgot to add. The, uh, the weight downwards as well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna add mg. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna add here t sine thirty is equal to r. La. Ah. To be a. To be a t sine thirty plus mg. La. How. Zero point one multiply ten. Equal. R. So sine thirty is half. 
ففي في over two plus one equal r تمام وده ده ده كله solving vertically فناو let's solve horizontally and that t cosine thirty equal friction تمام وهندان ال friction over يعني هندان ال friction بتساوي mu r وهندان mu ب zero point eight وهندان ال friction بتساوي zero point eight r okay so we can say in the t cosine thirty is equal to zero point eight r we can substitute this here now no if it's like man in the t t cosine thirty is uh t square three over two so I'm just use the calculator do cosine thirty and the calculator get Square root three over two um, equals zero point eight. Multiply t over two plus one. Then a t square root three over two is equal to equal zero point four t plus zero point eight. Give the hena. It's la mine. T square root three minus uh, over two minus zero point four t equals zero point eight. Uh, using the calculator, that's zero point four six six t equal zero point eight. So we have that the tension is equal to this is equal to one point seventy two newton. Part B, find the acceleration of the ring when t is equal to 3. Okay, I got the drawing I drew in part A here now. In the field R, okay. طبعا ما فيش ال acceleration اللي هيحصل هيكون في ال في ال في ال horizontal plane بس ما فيش أي حاجة تحصل في vertical plane. Reason in the ring هيب ده فوق يعني يبقى in the same level هيب هيب ده ماشي هنا مش هيطلع فوق وتحت. Okay. So that means that the force upward is equal to the force downward. So we can say in the R equal T, which is three sine thirty, plus mg, which is zero point one multiplied by ten. So that means the R is equal to two point five newton. Okay. And then the mu equal F over R. We have the mu given zero point eight. Well, R means that we can get the friction is equal to two point five multiplied by zero point eight. That's two point Oh Newton. Okay. But then give the resultant force on the horizontal plane. For t cosine thirty, lay a three cosine thirty minus the friction two point zero. It's la minus zero point five nine eight Newton. F equal m a. But you can get the acceleration easily. Zero point five nine eight equal zero point one a. That line A is equal to 5.98 meters second negative 2. Okay, then we finished question 4. Okay, question 5. A child of mass 35 kilograms is swinging on a rope. The child is modeled as a particle P, and the rope is modeled as a light and extensible string of length uh, 4 meters. Initially, P is held at an angle of 45 degrees to the vertical. Given that there is no resistance force, when the speed of p, when it has traveled halfway along the circular arc from its initial position to the lowest point, type um, when it traveled half the way, meaning we were here, here, okay, and here we had the angle d, and d, now both angles, meaning each one of them is half of forty-five to twenty-two point five degrees. Um, so uh, we need the speed at this point. تمام. To get the speed at this point, try the one we get the a loss in gravitational potential energy. We can get the gain in kinetic energy. We can get kinetic energy and get the speed. So um, you might think type we can get this distance صح, using حرفين أي حاجة مثلاً the cosine rule. بعدها إن جيب الهايت بس مش هتعرف for a reason and you don't have this angle. Man, so this does not work. What works though, and we will use this to get the any yeah, use this. We have this as h one, 
when I get this as H2, let me draw it another color. And then here H2 or H1. And I'm H2 minus H1 to get the A change in height. So, okay, how to get that height now? Simply, we'll just use trigonometry, cosine. So, we have the hypotenuse, the theta one right angle, uh, here the right angle, with the right angle. And then again, the cosine 45 is equal to um, h1 over 4. So, I'm back in h1 is equal to 4 cosine 45 and then uh, in cosine 22.5 is equal to h2 over uh, 4 so here we have the radii this is the radius I mean here is the radius so this is the radius so it's a on the arc so it's also 4 centimeters and then uh, in h2 is equal to uh, 4 cosine 22.5 to mem. Now we will find the uh, delta H 4 cosine 22.5 minus 4 cosine 45 equal 0 0.867 meters to mem. And then the mass, and give a loss in GPE of uh, energy GP lost equal MGH. MM is 30, 35 now, oh, 35, 35 kilogram to apply 10, multiply, I don't know, I included the unit here, <laughs> multiply 0 0.867, that's um, 350, 350 multiplied 0 0.6, and it'll make 303 joule. Come on. The bardo el energy kinetic gained. Lower half mv square. Um, maybe you can just make the bar right away. Half 35 v square is equal to 303. But like in the v equals square root. I'm going to the calculator to the 17.3. So square root is 17.3. The velocity hit at 4.16 meters second into one. I basically um, divided the 303 by Half multiplied by 3.5, I got 17.3 tamam. So D L speed. Well, by the way, we don't even need the mass here. Yani, um, I made it the, the long way around. Yani, you could have just said in the energy GP is equal to the energy kinetic. Found like in the MGH is equal to half mv square. When cancel the m both sides of the magnet, like GH is equal to half lv square. We don't even need the mass, for, I'm certain, and the, the mass will be used in the uh, other part of the question. But um, yeah, you'll get the same answer anyways. Okay, part B. It's given instead that there is a resistance force. The work done against the resistance force is as P travels from its initial position to the lowest point is X joules. The speed of P at the lowest point is 4 meter. The second find x. Okay. So here, what's on the speed? Four point uh, four meter per second. Um, I'm gonna drop light. Did okay. The height is here. We h one. Okay. And the height here, that means we have h one. Okay. And the height of all radius. Okay. Means that all radius from the arc will be four. So the height I'm gonna drop will be four. Minus h1, okay. And give the a the part the the level a the height I'm gonna draw. Tamam. Okay. And then h1, the four cosine forty. Okay. If I am in delta h, I take la four minus four cosine forty. 
that is wait 45 not 40 because i'm 45 my bad that is 1.17 meters okay so and then i'll have energy gravitational potential that we're going to have to have the energy kinetic as soon at the end you have speed plus the work length and resistance of x okay and then the mgh equal half mv square plus x <clears throat> 35 multiply 10 multiply 1.17 is equal to half multiply 35 multiply v layer 4 square plus x that number in x is equal to um 35 350 multiply 1.17410 minus 0.5 multiply uh 35 multiply 4 square that's 280 that line in the x is equal to uh, 400 minus 280, that's, oh, that's 130, 130 joules. Okay, I'm going to this question. A particle moves in a straight line AB. The velocity V of the particle T seconds after leaving A is given by this equation. Okay. Where K is a constant, displacement of the particle from A in the direction towards B is 2.5, 2.85 meters when T is equal to 3. 2.4 meters when t is equal to 6. Find the value of k hence find an expression in terms of t for displacement of the particle from a. <coughs> okay, and I have been having given displacement by integration and velocity. From now integration and velocity being give l a the displacement. Okay, okay, type. So, and I'm going to integrate displacement in form of theta. I will equation of theta and integration l a l k t square minus 10 t plus 21 that I'll get my a k up in bracket the power one of them will divide by t to the power 3 over 3 minus 10 t uh, over 2 t square over 2 plus 21 t um, uh, plus c okay مش هندخل السي جوه الباكت عشان it's not multiplied by the k it's a constant that's added at the end يعني احنا عملنا multiply للk بكل الحاجات اللي جوه تمام هطلع معاك kt square minus 10kt plus 21 تمام بعد ما نعمل integration وزودنا السي هيبقى السي ما فيهاش k مش هيبقى فيه k multiplied by the c يعني قصدي فايه مش هتبقى جوه الباكت تمام اوكي okay. simply now we have uh, displacements at different times so we will do a spontaneous equation. Okay, so the displacement can it 2.85 when t was 3. Okay, but then I can it 2.85 equal k 3 cube over 3 minus a uh, yeah, 10 over uh, 2 5 uh, 5 multiply uh, t square like 3 square plus 21 multiply 3 the color plus c. Tetla mic in um, 2.85 equal uh, k uh, 3 power 3 divided by 3 that's 3 power 2 that's 9 mm, minus uh, 9 multiplied by 5 that's 45 plus 21 multiplied by 3 that's 63 plus c um, Okay, plus C. And I like 2.85 equal uh, 9 minus uh, 9 minus 45 is negative 36 plus 63. That's 27 for 27k plus C. Okay, we are the other equation in the equation one. Okay, we are the other equation uh, at time equal to 6. Uh, can displacement 2.4. That 2.4 equal K. 6 cube over 3 minus 5 uh, multiply 6 power 2 plus 21 multiply 6 plus c 2.4 and I'm the collapse and calculate about plus it's 18 k 
ماشي بلس سي هنعمل دلوقتي دي دي كويشن 2 I will just uh, you can do substitution, you can do elimination, you can do any of the uh, of the ways um, to solve spontaneous equations. Yani. Uh, I'll just do uh, substitution. So I'll give you C but two point four plus uh, minus minus eighteen k. So I'll put let me substitute two and one. Tamam. That will make it two point eighty five equal. 27k plus 2.4 minus 18k. The mem 2.4 taken here, the other one can 0.45 is equal to uh, 27 uh, minus 18, which is 9k. Fetla mic in the k is equal to 0.45 divided by 9, that's 0.005. Okay. Can I get an okay? Yeah, the question was asking for an uh, expression. Tamam. Fashion, give the expression the displacement. And I get an okay, I'm going to give you C as well. Okay. So, um, in any of the equations, we'll just mm, mm, substitute the K. And then, the D looks very simple. Let's look at C is equal 2.4 minus 18 multiply 0.05. That is 2.4. That's 1.5. Okay, or 3 over 2. So the equation to the end, that we have to Displacement is equal to um, 0 0.05. That's the k. T cube over 5, uh, over 3, minus uh, 5t square plus 21t the kolo plus 1.5 part b find the displacement of the particle from a when the velocity when its velocity is a minimum but you find them in exam them integration differentiation we will handle these types of questions be the minimum point the man between here a between stationary point Okay, or let me call the d square y and the x square a second derivative. Let me call at that instant negative. It call maximum. Let me call positive. It call minimum. Here, now the whole thing is the same. We are going to get the displacement when the velocity is minimum. Velocity is minimum. Meaning the differentiation of the velocity is a stationary point. Okay, as we are going to get y minimum. The man in differentiation beta y stationary point. Okay. For the differentiation beta velocity will acceleration. But let's just differentiate the velocity dv out of dt. Okay. Um, where's the equation that the velocity that we got? Um, well, we didn't actually get the equation. We only have this one. Type okay. Um, we have here the equation. Ma'am. One deal k given a zero point zero five, so we can rewrite as v equal zero point zero five t square minus ten t plus twenty one. Okay, the differentiation I can I can zero point zero five right t square I have a two t minus ten. تمام تمام ف لما الفاستي تكون مينيموم هيكون الدي في على الدي تي يكون زيرو او ممكن دي لها الاكسلريشن اوكي فالاكسلريشن تكون زيرو يبقى معك الزيرو يكون زيرو بوينت زيرو فايف تو تي ماينس تن نعمل ديفايد زيرو بوينت زيرو فايف يطلع عندك الزيرو يكون تو تي ماينس تن تو تي يكون تن تي از يكون تو تي از يكون تو فايف سكند مش هون لما تي يبقى فايف in cone fill uh, minimum. So now we need to get the displacement. We have in uh, this equation. We'll just put t as five, and uh, we will get the uh, displacement. So I have now the equation. Okay, let's um, place it here. Here we go. Here's the equation again. We just substitute the t. 
so you have that s s will be equal to 0 0.055 five cube over 3 minus 5 multiply 5 square plus 21 multiply 5 plus 1.5 and then s is equal to I'll just do it all on the calculator and I get 2.58 meters. Okay, now we finished question 6. Question 7. A particle P of mass 0 0.3 kilogram lying on a smooth plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal is released from rest. P slides down the plane for a distance 2.5 meters and then reaches a horizontal plane. Uh, there is no uh, change in speed when P reaches the horizontal plane. A particle Q of mass 0 0.2 kg lies at rest on the horizontal plane 1.5 meters from the end of the inclined plane. P collides directly with Q. A, A it's given that the um, horizontal plane is smooth and that after the collision B continues moving in the same direction with speed 2 meters uh, per second. Find the speed of Q after the collision. Okay, simply we, we we will have the like initially a GPE, عشان we are at a height, so we have initially a gravitational potential energy, okay, energy, gravitational potential, and this energy is converted into kinetic energy, تمام, but because due to the momentum con conservation, some of the, and yeah, due to the collision, some of the momentum is given to a particle Q, who the rest is a maintained uh, to the particle p. If, um, okay, let's firstly get the energy changes. Okay, we'll give the kinetic energy type p when it reaches the uh, horizontal plane. Okay, then uh, in uh, mgh, remember lower energy gravitational potential equal energy kinetic mgh equal half mv square okay F um, to get the height though we don't have the height right yeah we don't have the height but we have the angle and we have the 2.5 using basic trigonometry we know that uh, sine 30 is equal to h uh, over 2.5 we have that sine 30 is equal to h over 2.5 so h is equal to 2.5 sine 30 so h is equal to 1.25 meters okay um back to the energy change about m had cancel for the and the 10 and then g multiply 1.25 is equal to half v square so v is equal to square root 10 multiply 1.25 is 12.5 12 12.5 12 uh, divide half is 25 so v is equal to 5 meter second negative 1 okay this is the speed or the velocity and uh i'm not going positive or negative version a um يعني negative يعني we move in the same direction we will keep moving in that direction uh, yeah there is no way we take a negative here um, uh, okay um, now that we will get the momentum before collision we'll just use con conservation of momentum for m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 right the uh, mass of particle P is 0 0.3 kilograms, so 0 0.3 multiplied by 5 plus 0, which is m2 can stationary for u equal 0, um, plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 2 plus uh, 0 0.2 lower mass v. Mm -hmm. So that's 1.5 is equal to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 v. 0 0.2 v is equal to 0 0.9 v is equal to 4.5 meter per second part b it's given instead that the horizontal plane is rough and that when p and q collide 
they coalesce and move with speed 1.2 meter per second find the coefficient of friction between p and the horizontal plane طيب um, ده معناه ان احنا ما عندناش دلوقتي يعني دلوقتي مش هنستخدم ايه مش هنستخدم ال 5 متر بير سكند دي اوكي نستخدم فيلوسيتي ثانيه اللي احنا مش عارفين هي كام عشان حصل هنا فريكشن فالفيلوسيتي حصل لها ديكريز طب عايزين نجيب الفيلوسيتي او السبيد بتاعت بارتيكل بي بيفور ذا كوليجن رايت اواي اوكي ف ليتس ليتس كالكوليت ذات عندنا ان ان ذات كيس يعني because they they combine together forming one object that تكون ان m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal um, m1 plus m2 v okay for 0.3 u مش عم شايفين u كم plus 0 is equal to 0.3 plus 2 uh, sorry plus 0.2 V اللي هي actually we have the V 1.2 so 0.3 U is equal to 0.5 multiply 1.2 which is 0.6 value U is equal to 2 meter per second تمام ف D is speed before A before the collision okay اللي هي السبيد هنا والسبيد هنا كانت 5 meter per second اوكي لو احنا عملنا ايه decrease in speed طيب um, احنا عارفين ان ال f equal mu um, r اوكي واحنا عندنا ال r اللي هي كانت ال normal force ف ال normal في ال plane هيكون احنا موجودين هنا ال r فوق تمام و ال weight تحت اللي هو ال mg sorry mg feather equal فا هيكون عندنا الفريكشن بتساوي ميو تمام في الويت اللي هو الام جي ايكوال تو 0.3 ملتبلاي باي 10 ملتبلاي باي ميو يعني عندنا الفريكشن از ايكوال تو 3 ميو اوكي باك هير تو ذا دايجرام احنا هنا تمام وي ستارت ات ذيس بوينت كان عندنا ال speed is five كانت five meter second negative one تمام and when the when the particle or sphere p reached this place or this position it was two meter second negative one this means that there is work done against friction okay what's the work done against friction work done against friction or any work done become force multiplied by distance or force in this case is friction With this work done, caused the change in the kinetic energy. تمام. فا let's 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 equate. Okay, يعني F the force done multiply the distance layer three mu the the force. Okay, multiply distance layer one point five is equal to a loss in kinetic energy. We lost kinetic energy as an in form of work done against friction. تمام. You can half multiply 0.3 multiply 5 square minus half multiply 0.3 multiply 2 square. كده دي ال initial kinetic energy و دي ال final kinetic energy. فال initial minus the final معناه لقي نحنا loss in kinetic energy. Okay. The loss in kinetic energy is equal to the work done against friction. So this is 4.5 mu is equal to um all. يعني this all in the calculator is 3.15. Then mu is equal to zero point seven. Okay, that we finished uh, question seven and we finished this past paper. Uh, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.